The Rebel View Top is the first thing you see when you click on the Rebel icon and open the program. Um, this graphic application has a number of features that are useful and it lets you control all the user settings. You've already seen that you can click on the console icon to get the Rebel interpreter open. Um, to get back to the view top, um, you click desktop and that'll bring the, the view top back into, into view. If most of your coding is done in the Rebel console, it may be a little bit easier to click on the user settings and uncheck the open desktop on startup icon. What that'll do is when you open Rebel, it'll go directly to the desk or to, to the um, interpreter instead of the, the view top. Um, to get back to that desktop, to the view top, just type des desktop and it will open back up. Um, also in the user menu, there are some, some standard settings, the email settings that Rebel will use to um, send email if you use the send command. Um, you want to put in your SMTP server and your POP server and your email address. Um, if you're behind um, or if you're using a proxy to get internet access, you can put all that information here. Um, you can also choose to uh, automatically connect up to the internet when you start the program. That's useful too. Um, you can save those settings. And you can go directly to a, a URL or a um, other location by using the go-to item. Um, help has a number of links, uh, mostly that bring you to the Rebel website. Uh, you can check for updates and automatically have updates done. Um, documents uh, setting is probably the best resource for help. Um, you get tutorials, one of which is the Music Lessons tutorial. Um, there are a number of other documents. The Rebel Core manual is the the main document written by Rebel that uh, it describes all of the, the functions and the whole the whole approach to programming in Rebel. That's a must read. Uh, they have a French version. Uh, the function dictionary is really useful. Um, it lets you click on um, on any of the functions that are built in and from there setnet is one of those things that lets you set up your uh, Rebel email and that sort of thing. So we're using the the user menu. And it has links to other uh, related functions. That's a useful online resource. Um, there are a number of other guides. Um, the Rebel Core Manual doesn't cover any of the graphical programming in view, so you may want to get some of these graphical uh, uh, tutorials. Those are really uh, required tutorials if you want to understand everything in, uh, in Rebel as far as GUI programming. Uh, there are some links to the commercial versions of Rebel that you can purchase. Um, and some other interesting um, things like the Rebel one-liners. There's a lot that you can do in Rebel just with a single line of code. The program at the end, that's a single line. And back to the, to the view top. Um, you can go to the store and purchase some some of their commercial items. Rambo is a, a bug reporting online um, online uh, resource. If you have any problems that, that you want to document and submit to um, Rebel Technologies, you can use Rambo. And uh, also, if you want to send them feedback, um, the most useful part and the, the broadest um, part of the Rebel View Top is the Rebel Sites, and these Reb Sites, is what they're called, they're just a collection of, of places you can go. These are actually hosted on, on uh, web servers, so this is a nice, um, nice format to uh, pull up um, programs and other, uh, other items that are created by the Rebel community. This is a, a great little... Uh, program that shows you how to program using the Rebel GUI dialect. And there are a ton of other little resources that you can um, that you can pull up from the community. And if you'd like, you can actually see the code 
to any of the things that are available from the ViewTop on these websites. Click on Edit, and you can get the code to that program we are just looking at. This is a fantastic resource for um, learning how to do things. I categorized in terms of uh, games and demos and uh, a variety of other items that are available. Um, and again, click on the uh, click on the icons, right click on them to get the uh, the code. It's extraordinarily useful, and the user sites are many. Uh, up. You can go to public and you'll see an enormous number of sites that are available, including the Rebel library at rebel.org, organized in various ways. So, so a huge number of uh, pieces of code that you can look through to help, help learn more about Rebel. Also, a number of programs that you can run that are interesting and fun.